So today's video, we're gonna take a look at the kind of brand new, but not really brand new, but freshly off back order DJI wireless microphone. My first experience with this kit was back when I was working with Sidney Deongzin on his review video of this product. Um, pretty much right away, I kind of fell in love with this. So, But before I wanted to put out a review video on this thing, I actually wanted to get a few months under my belt with the product to make sure it's something that I actually do recommend. But anyways, this video is not sponsored by DJI. They did not send me this kit. I did personally buy this thing myself and waited for it to come off back order. But this video is sponsored by Cuts Clothing. More on that later. So for those of you who don't know what this product is, it's a wireless microphone kit that comes with two transmitters and one receiver. So you can record in like stereo, you can record two separate people. You get, there's a lot of uses that you can get for this. We'll kind of get more into that later. Uh, but when you open the box, you're gonna see this nice little uh, pouch bag here. I'm not really sure why they decided on a pouch bag instead of a bag or a zipper case, but really whatever. Uh, and inside you're gonna see it has this nice little wireless case box. You're gonna get your two furry windscreens you're gonna get the USB-C cable so you can charge the unit itself. And that's pretty much all it comes with. Oh, and you're also gonna get, you know, your user manual and stuff like that. Um, I actually did have to look at this the first time to figure out how to put the clip in the transmitter. So do save that thing and check it out. All right, right away, so my first impressions when you get this kit out of the bag is this little case that it comes in. This is what holds the transmitter and two receivers, plus all the adapters and stuff. Uh, this case is freaking awesome. You'll notice that when I first open it up, like four lights show up on the bottom. What that is, is that this is actually like a power bank and it can charge these units three separate times. So when these things run out of battery, you don't have to plug them into a wall. You just throw them back in the case and they will recharge three separate times. So you'll get like 15 hours of battery life with this set. So one of the other things you might notice that when you first open this up is it actually turns on the transmitters and the receiver and it pairs all of them right away. So you don't have to do anything. You just take them out, you get them all set up and you kind of go start recording. And for some reason, if you do lose a pairing, all you gotta do is just put everything back in there, shut the lid, open it back up. It should reset everything. Uh, but this is a really cool option. Back on the Rode Wireless Go days, you had to sit there and like push the button down, hold it on, hold it until it turns on. And you have to do that for all of them. Uh, this thing, you just open the lid and it's good to go. So one of the big features that you have with this kit is that you have the ability to use two stereo microphones, uh, or you can use two microphones in mono. I would probably not recommend that unless you really don't know how to mix it in post, but you can record two stereo in a left and right channel. And then in post, all you have to do is split them and you can control them in mono and you can EQ them and set the volumes and do all that stuff separately. And that's why I recommend going right and left channel so you have more independent control over each. So one of the other features that this thing sets apart from some of the other wireless systems is this set has a range of 250 meters. That is a ridiculous long ways away from a camera. I can't imagine you would ever be 250 meters away, granted line of sight from your camera, uh, but that's what this thing is capable of doing. Some kits, you can only go about 50 meters and you might start losing signal. This thing will stay strong pretty much the way through. And then the other really big feature of this thing is that this thing has internal recording, so you can hit the record button right on the microphone itself. And then when you get home, you can take it off, put it in your computer. These kind of just show up as like a hard drive. And then you can take the file off your computer and then sync it into post to your clip if you were to lose your signal or whatever. Okay, so let's take a closer look at the transmitters and kind of talk about some of the features. Uh, right away, the first thing you'll, you'll definitely notice is just how small this is. Uh, this, this transmitter microphone is tiny. So if you're gonna compare this to like the Rode Wireless Go, uh, you'll, you'll see right away, it's, it's, it's quite a bit smaller than the Rode Wireless Go. So just like the Rode Wireless Go, you'll see on the back here, it actually has like a little clip. Uh, you can slide that into like a cold shoe mount. You can kind of clip it onto your shirt. But if you actually take a closer look at that clip, you'll notice there's a little square magnet on here. And what the really cool thing with this is, is you can take that magnet like right off, put it underneath your shirt and uh, clip your microphone on. Now you can just wear it wherever. You don't have to have a lapel to clip it to, and uh, it, it works really well. So one of the other things that's really cool about the magnet is anything that's metal around you, you can just literally like stick it to it. And now you have like this magnetic mount that's holding your microphone. So then flipping it over to the other side, you'll see that there's a link button. So if you lose pairing, you can hit that button and try to repair. I would probably still just use the case though. And then you also see that there is a record button that is to start and stop the recording on the unit itself. All right, so looking at the top of the mic, you'll see that it has a 3.5 millimeter jack input, and that is for like running a lav microphone if you wanna go lav microphone. Otherwise, if you look next to that, that is the actual uh, mic capsule. So that would be your microphone. 
So you can actually just twist your uh, windscreen straight onto that as well. And now you have a locked in windscreen. So you can take this thing outside and not worry about wind noise. All right, so taking the receiver out of the kit now, you'll see that it actually has like a few different pieces that are in here. Uh, one of them is gonna be this clip that sits on the bottom. That's gonna be for like a cold shoe mount. And then you'll see on the inside, it comes with a lightning cable and a USB-C cable. So the nice thing about the lightning cable adapter for an iPhone is you just take this thing off, plug it into here, uh, and then you can just plug it straight into your iPhone. And now you have like a nice wireless mic for your iPhone. The same goes with any of the phones that have a USB-C plug-in too. It has an adapter for that. So what I really like about this receiver is it's actually a touchscreen, so you can actually just quickly jump through all the menus, control all the settings. Uh, and then it also just shows you the levels that the mic is running and the battery life, and if it's in mono, if it's muted, what your strength is. So if you're only gonna take out one microphone and the receiver, you'll notice on the front here, it's only gonna show the one microphone's level. It shows you the battery strength. It shows you if it's in mono. Uh, it's gonna show you the signal strength. Uh, but if you open up the case here and take out the other microphone, you'll see that it automatically switched to both microphones. Uh, I still do have it currently set to mono. I probably would set that to stereo because if you want correct audio tracks, you're gonna wanna put them in stereo and process them both individually in post once you split them. So, uh, but anyways, if you put that and take one back, it'll actually just put it back into a mono setting as well. So this thing's very smart in knowing how many mics you're running at a time, which is really cool. So one really big feature that I like the most is that you have the ability to start and stop the recording of this microphone from the receiver. So if your talent is, let's say in a wedding, a ways away from you, and you don't see that it's recording, you can actually go into your settings for that microphone on the receiver and hit record. Uh, also, you can hit mute as well if you're wanting to mute something for some reason. But that's a really cool thing. So if the person bumped it or something, you'll be able to see that it's uh, not recording and you can hit record and have your safety track. All right, so before we go outside and do a bunch of tests with this microphone, I do want to quick address the question I'm going to get asked a lot. And that's how does this set compare to the Rode Wireless Go or Rode Wireless Go 2? Uh, and quite honestly, I haven't been able to do a test to compare it with this one because I can't turn this one on anymore. The screen on my Rode Wireless Go 2 kind of just stopped working. Um, it turns on, it probably works, but I don't know what the levels are at. I don't know what the settings are at. I can't change anything. Um, I've tried fixing it. I basically just need to send this back and get it warrantied. Um, but what I do know is that this thing has a little bit tinnier, higher pitch sound than this one does. And personally, I like the sound of the DJI microphone better. And that just comes from Sydney DeYoungson's video where we reviewed both of these microphones. You can go check out that video if you want to compare these things. Uh, but I personally kind of like the DJI kit better. When you get the Rode Wireless Go 2 kit, you get this kind of big pouch that kind of takes up a lot of room in a backpack. It's really not durable. And if you do want to get some sort of power case, there is one available out there on Amazon. It's this uh, Z, ZG Cine. Uh, you open it up, you can put all your things in here, close it, and it should start charging. But this thing also is going to cost you another 40, 50 bucks. And it's kind of a big case. It doesn't really fit well in backpacks. Uh, it's not small and compact like this guy is. So uh, hands down win for this one against Rode. All right, so let's go check out this microphone outside and kind of just see how it works and how it does. So one really good application for this microphone that you're gonna see a lot of people use is use it for like events or use it for like weddings where you're gonna be putting like a mic on a groomsman or a bride or hide the, hide the microphone in like the flowers. And you're gonna have the camera, you know, maybe a good distance away uh, for instance, right now I'm on this stage and, well, honestly, the camera is quite a ways away from us. Uh, I'm probably about, I don't know, 60, 70 meters away right now from the camera. And this thing's still picking up just fine. Uh, and just in case it doesn't pick up, I am still using the safety track. So if we do lose the audio or there's a signal loss, it's all going to be recorded on this mic. So this thing's got five hours of battery, which means you're going to be able to use this microphone for a good period of time. So a lot of events are going to last five hours. Uh, and if you're only using one of these mics, the really cool thing with that is that you can actually use the second one when this one battery dies. But if you are micing up two different people, you can do that. You can put it in stereo, you can put them in dual mono. Uh, but because these things have little magnets on it too, you can find plenty of places to hide this. Currently I'm wearing one of the Insta360 necklaces. So you can just pop that thing right on your necklace and it's, it's good to go. So now I can be walking around hands free as well. Uh, but the handling noise walking around with this just handheld also works just fine. Okay, so one really big advantage of having this system instead of something like the Wireless Go is that you can completely control the transmitter volume and the receiver volume from the receiver itself. So you don't have to worry about like getting it correct on the talent or on the person you're miking because you can do it from the receiver. So 
if the thing starts getting too loud or looks bad or it sounds awful or it's too quiet, you can literally up the volume of one of the transmitters uh, to equal the volume if someone's like talking quiet or something like that, which is really cool. Uh, it gives you a lot more flexibility and a lot more control versus having something like the wireless go or some of those other wireless systems where you can't control each transmitter individually from the receiver. So this DJI kit says you can go 250 meters of range as long as your line of sight between the microphone and the camera or the transmitter and the receiver. Uh, but we're gonna give it a little test. We're gonna go about 60 meters right now and see what happens when I go behind this building. Um, so let's start walking that way. All right, so one thing I do know about this kit is that when we were filming this video for Sidney Deongzen with this microphone kit, um, we had a scene where he walked away where the transmitter was blocked by his body and he kind of went behind like a skyscraper building and it did pretty well. It did have some cutouts, but obviously we had the safety track, so we were able to save that anyways. So let me know if you, if you hear this cutting out right now. I am recording it on the safety track as well. But uh, one really cool thing about this kit though is that I like its versatility. I like it sounds good. Um, I think it, it, it turns on, which is a really nice feature because my Rode Wireless Go currently doesn't turn on. We'll get to that later. But uh, let's see, this, we're gonna walk by in this building now. We are walking away from the camera. and Now we are completely out of sight. Do we still have audio on this track or is it completely cut out? Hey, there's a cool squirrel over here. You probably should see that. So I'm walking around the building, still going around, getting a little winded. Those stairs kind of took a little bit out of me, not much, but a little bit. Pandemic people have been out of shape for a while. And now we are on the other side of the video, or the other side of this building, sorry, uh, going up these stairs. A lot of metal in this area, so is there any interference going on there? And we're going back up top of the stage, 60 meters away or so. We are using the Tamron 28 to 200 at full length zoom right now, probably. So one really cool thing about this microphone is that you don't actually need to plug this in to do anything. You can just turn this on the transmitter and just hit the record on the side of the button and you can use this as a field recorder. You can take notes with this if you need to. You could literally use this, mic up a, a person that you're in an interview with and then just take that audio later, put it in your computer, download it and it's good to go. So you don't even actually have to use the receiver and plug it into your camera at all. You can just do this and sync it in post. All right, so like I said before, this video is sponsored by Cuts Clothing. If you guys have been watching this channel, you know that I've been wearing and rocking this Cuts Clothing for about a year now. It's been my favorite company to wear. Uh, this is their brand new like long sleeve pine overtime tee. Uh, this is, I, I love this material. It's like cooler, heavy cotton, it's baggy. It's gonna look great for fall. Still wearing the uh, Cuts uh, joggers and hat now too. They, they'll get you now head to, I guess ankle, because they don't make shoes yet cuts you guys should make some shoes they're the most comfortable clothes I own and I recommend you guys go check them out and pick some up yourself if you guys use the link in the comments you will save 15% otherwise you can use promo code Kyle Watts and you'll also get 15% off your entire order so please go check out cuts clothing thanks again cuts for sponsoring this video all right, so you probably couldn't see it in the last video, but I'm actually wearing the Insta360 magnetic necklace. This is for like the Insta360 Go, uh, but this thing works really well to just, you know, pop under your shirt and then magnetic on the microphone. That way it doesn't like pull down your shirt weird. It just hangs nicely. So these things are only a few bucks. So if you want to get one of these things for this set, uh, I did put a link down below. Go check this thing out and pick one of these up. It's been really nice having it. All right, so that leaves us with the question, who is this kit for? Personally, this is going to be a great kit for anyone who is like a content creator who wants to mic one or two people separately wirelessly so they can get away from the microphone. This is gonna be really good for people who are like wedding videographers who wanna get a mic closer to the groom and bride. Uh, you can hide them in like lapels, you can hide them in the flowers. This is gonna be a really good kit for people who are doing interviews, whether you're using a lapel mic or you're just using the unit itself magnetically. Uh, in fact, a couple weeks ago, I was actually shooting a documentary where I was putting these things on all the people I was interviewing just right on the shirt. It worked great, sounded great. So if you guys have like a travel channel with like one or two people, this thing's going to be really good for that as well. Cause now it doesn't really matter if you're facing the microphone or if you're further back, you're gonna get really good audio from both people. So as long as you're not recording from like more than five hours at a time, like if you're going to Disney for 12 hours, you're gonna have to charge that at least once, but it's gonna be a really good option for getting like great audio. So one really cool thing you can do with this microphone is get like a handheld option. Uh, they do make a few of these things. They have some that are like extendable. This specific one is actually from Rode. So if you wanna use a DJI mic with a Rode handle, you can do that. But really you could just kinda clip your hot shoe right in the front. 
Now you can kind of just go up to people and interview them with like a handheld device. All right, so if you guys are gonna ask me what my opinion is on this kit and if you guys should get it, uh, my answer right away is a resounding yes. This is an outstanding wireless kit. It outperforms Rode in pretty much every single way. Uh, it is it is my new favorite wireless kit. I'm going to get this Rode Wireless Go 2 fixed and I'm probably gonna give it away or sell it or something. Uh, but this is this is gonna be a microphone I'm going to use a lot. I love shotgun mics, I love using those primarily, but there are times where wireless mics are a very good option to use and I'm gonna probably start using these a little bit more often. I love how small this kit is. I love how I can fit this thing in my camera bag in like any little corner. This thing is just, it's an outstanding kit. It's worth absolutely every penny. Uh, and speaking of price right now, I think this thing is going for like $329. So it's a tiny bit more expensive than the Rode Wireless Go 2, but you get so much more stuff with this thing. You get the charging case that can charge the units three separate times on a charge, which is that alone right there is, like Rode is missing out by not having their own charge case. But this kit is wonderful. It doesn't really pick up a lot of wind noise. It has outstanding range. Uh, even when I went behind that building, it cut out a little bit, but I was actually surprised that it didn't cut out like instantly and stay that way. But like I said before, I did have that safety track recorded. So in the event of that cutout, I could just replace it with the one that didn't. From the camera, now we are completely out of sight. Do we still have audio on this track or is it completely cut out? Hey, there's a cool squirrel over here. You probably should see that. So I'm walking around the building, still going around, getting a little winded. Those stairs kind of took a little bit out of me. Not much, but a little bit. Pandemic, people have been out of shape for a while. And now we are on the other side of the video. But I really like how easy this kit is to use. I love how you can control all the settings from the receiver. So if you need to adjust something because someone's too loud on the fly, you can slightly turn down the volume and everything's good. Uh, that option alone is worth every penny compared to some of these other sets. There's just an amazing amount of upsides to having this kit. Uh, it's gonna be a really nice feature having with me in my studio and my YouTube career. So because not every product is perfect, there are a couple things that I had an issue with or that I really didn't like. So firstly, it's this little pouch that comes with the kit. Um, I'm not sure why DJI made it a pouch and not the zipper bag that they first kind of came out with in the prototype. You can like pull it tight, but it can also kind of come loose kind of easy. I don't know why they didn't put one of those like plastic like clips on there or something to that effect. Um, so you could have this thing open up and have some stuff fall out in your bag, which isn't the end of the world, but it just kind of seems a little bit chintzy compared to like how quality this one is. Uh, in fact, if I can, I'm probably gonna just use this and throw like a windscreen in my like zipper part of my backpack in the cable just to keep that with. But another thing is I wish they had a little bit of space extra so you could like put the fuzzy up top and close it. Clearly you can see it, it doesn't close if it's up there. That would have been kind of nice so that way you could leave the fuzzies on at all times and just keep it shut. Because we all know turning something that's plastic over and over off and on over time is probably going to wear out at some point. Uh, I know you can get replacement ones for these, but still. So then there's one other thing that I did have a problem with that I have heard was a problem with some other people as well. And that is the cable that it comes with. Uh, it's two like 90 degree angle cables. I was getting a lot of interference noise when I first plugged this in. Um, if I had the volume up to like three or four on the camera, I heard a pretty noticeable kind of hiss, high pitched sound that did not sound good at all. The only way I could fix that was to put the camera down to one and then like turn up the volume on the transmitter and the receivers, which is a fix that you can do, but I just wanted to get rid of that sound altogether. So my first thought was just to like grab a different cable, but I did notice that some of the other cables didn't like to stay in the unit as well because this cable has like a little bit of a recess in here that really clips in hard. So I reached out to a few different creators and YouTubers and saw if anyone else had this problem. Pretty much no one else did. Uh, I did reach out to Donna Did It though, and he actually recommended me a product that cost like a couple bucks on Amazon. And that's a thing called a ferret bead. You'll see that they're just these little like plastic things. And what they do is they just literally clip onto your cable and they kind of ground the cable, getting rid of that noise. Um, I did put two on my cable just because two is better than one, right? And, uh, and now the problem is completely gone. So I don't have any issues with that. Um, it does kind of suck I have to have this. I did reach out to DJI and apparently there is a replacement cable that they're gonna send me. But until then, I'm gonna use this one with the ferret bead on it because it works fine now, so. But if you guys do get this kit and for some reason have that interference noise, just know that there are little products out here that cost a couple bucks that can fix that. 
Uh, this is a three millimeter ferret bead, by the way. All right, you guys, so if you have any questions on the DJI wireless microphone kit, uh, leave a comment down below. I'd be happy to answer anything that I can. While you're down there, if you could hit the like button, subscribe to this channel if you want to follow along to other videos like this one. And as always, guys, we'll catch you on the next one. Later. So one really cool thing with the DG, DGI, D, DJI, DGI, DJI. So the DGI kit, DGI, I keep, I keep saying DGI. So, <clears throat> are you good? So the DJ, so the DGI, DJ, <laughs> DJ. So the DJI kit uh, actually does, now I can't. So the DJI kit, <clears throat> did I just say G? Again, seriously, this is gonna have to be a, a blooper video. Yeah, I would definitely be worried about the signal if I knew that it probably didn't cut out. So, yeah, I think it's gonna be fine. I'm sure you guys didn't hear that, so we'll find out. Does do you lose signal inside of the Biffy? If you don't, then it's gonna be very embarrassing. <laughs>